Did I say I've had enough of the snow? Did you hear me when I say it's time to go? And did I tell you that the place for me is right below that old palm tree? Now you say you're coming to, that's good to know. Looks like we're Daytona bound, so let's keep moving. We are thunder rolling to the sun, lightning striking out for fun. Yeah, we're Daytona bound. In Harley Davidson. Bill, uh, in his sidekick in our styling department, a fellow by the name of uh, Louis Nets, who were a little braver than I was. They drove the first day and a half in a snowstorm, a little ice along with it. When I heard about the weather, I grabbed an airplane, flew to Roanoke, Virginia, and that was long enough for me, but it's a, a hell of a good way to learn about a new model. <laughs> raced the first uh, 10 or 12 races here and that was in our younger years and we sort of got bit by the bug you might say and every year afterwards we came because there is an excitement you don't overcome once you get here and so we come back every year we love it well how you doing I'm fun where you from Birmingham, Alabama. what you riding Ain't nothing but a Harley Davidson for Ain't me. You the one. I don't know about the rest of these suckers down here. How you feeling? Cool. Calm, I guess. How's your day? Fine, thank you. What's your bike? Riding a Harley. Hey, that's the way. Well, they come from all over to Daytona. Some come to race. Freedom means two wheels and a sunny day. Of course, the name of our club is uh, Kentucky Travelers uh, Motorcycle Club. Uh, to be a member, you have to be, first of all, a married couple, and, uh, and the club members have to own and operate a Harley Dresser. 74. Hey, you doing? doing good. Hey. Where are you from? I'm from Boston. Glad you're here. Now you enjoy the sun. Tell me, where do you fix it? In the living, in the living room. room. Where do you keep it? Where do you keep it? In the living room. Well, I won't ask where you ride. Well, they come from all over to Daytona, to Daytona. Some come to race, some come to race. Freedom means two wheels and a sunny day. Yeah, freedom means two wheels and a sunny day. Following his Daytona half-mile win, Red Hot Factory HD rider Ted Booty leads the Memorial Stadium short track field to turn one. That's the way I like to be, is hot. <laughs> He's got a good start anyway. Yeah. One more and it'll be the end of the week. Then we'll see how hot I was the whole time. Booty's hottest competition, Harley Mounted rookie Lance Jones. It's running great. It really is. We had, I mean, our luck's been super here all night long. 
And they're away. The fourth and final night of bull ring style short track action. Again, a sellout at Memorial Stadium. The field off turn two, blistering the backstretch. Handlebars grazing the concrete wall. Ted Booty is moving on the leaders. In this most competitive of all forms of racing, Booty masterfully slides the 250 Harley sideways on that treacherous black groove. The last lap, the crowd roaring its approval. Lance Jones and Ted Booty will put Harley Davidson in victory circle at the Daytona short track. But don't forget, fans, you can see all the Harley Davidson bikes at the big show at the Daytona Hilton. You're still going to offer it. Oh, yeah. yeah this is this, this 80 cubic gift is only available in Special edition. This color. This way. This way. Uh, there are some improvements in the, in the cylinders, the cylinder plant is a thicker, and, and you know there's a lot of uh, de detailed things that have been done to you know improve the overall engine. Actually, those those same improvements are going back into the, the 1200 as well. Well, we feel that every, every one of those things is an improvement. Friend and I brought two girls down with us, but I don't think we will next time. <laughs> Can't believe how many there are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Daytona International Speedway and the Superbike Production Road Racing Championship. We got a green motorcycle and a green pilot, but it's stacking together. This is the new wave in AMA road racing, the thunder of 1,000cc street motorcycles specially modified for road racing. And in this year's event, there's special interest in bike number 179, Dalton, Georgia farm boy Dale Singleton on an XLCR Cafe racer, marking Harley Davidson's first assault on this growing class.
We're inside the high bank walls of Daytona International Speedway, where in the sandy infield, the countdown is in its final seconds for the launch of the Daytona Supercross. Fingering the controls like concert violinists, 40 of the best athletes in motorsports depart the starting gate for a motocross drag race to turn one. Inside goes number 49 on the Harley-Davidson, Don Killer Kodalski. He's a Florida veteran, a master of the treacherous sand that makes up this course. The superstars are all here to buy for precious points and big bucks over a twisting, turning, two-mile course studded with incredible man-made obstacles. Bike and rider take a brutal pounding as Kodalski demonstrates his aggressive style and the handling capabilities of his machine. These bikes are 200-pound thoroughbreds, the riders' high-paid pros who earn their living in a rugged business. Don Kodalski and his Harley-Davidson take the checkered flag. The rear half the frame was out for 36 knucklehead, and the front half out for 1962 parenthood, where I joined them together. I got 1949 left case and 1951 right case with 1976 barrels, rods, and heads bolted to them. This is the uh, sixth annual uh, custom chopper show that we hold here in Daytona every year. Well, I rolled into Daytona just the other night, straight out of the sticks into the city lights. I traded my truck for a couple of wheels, gonna ride a motorcycle just to see how it feels. Nobody ever told me about that bike lingo. It's a whole new way of talking that you just got to know if you want to ride a bike, that is. Got to learn to speak motorcycle, boy. Built the bike pretty cheap, because most of the people that gave me the parts to it, I got $530 into the whole bike. Thanks to friends that helped me build it. They give me different parts in that to where I join them all together and put it, you know, as one motorcycle. They were talking about flatheads, panheads, knuckleheads, shovelheads, springer front ends, and slicks. And here I am hanging out with brothers and dudes when all I ever knew before was hicks. Well, I don't know. If I can ever catch on to this amusing, confusing code of the road called the biker's communication. Got a low rider and a K model. Uh, I got a 57 three-wheeler frame, customized with a 71 shovel head engine. Last year, they had the step seat, and this year, one with the short bucket, no sissy bar. Last year, I ran tubes, and I'm running a dirty front end this year. Last year, I ran a Makuni, I'm running a SU. This show down here is very important to Harley-Davidson because these guys are, are really creating some beautiful works of art, and there are some ideas down here that we can use in our production motorcycles, and I think it's very important for me to understand these riders and know what they're putting together. Willie G. Davidson is director of design for Harley-Davidson. ...and three or four kinds of glides. And they lost me completely when they started to speak about how good the damn thing rides. Well, I just don't know if I can ever catch on to this amusing, confusing code of the road called the biker's communication. Dial it on, boy. Would somebody please tell me what I'm supposed to do with a Z-bar? I don't know if I'm gonna ever catch on to this way of talking. Maybe I should get my truck back. What do you mean I just puked my engine? Well, that could get messy. On a warm, sunny, breezy afternoon, we approach the start of the international lightweight 100-mile road race. Brian, good, real good. How's it seem compared to Nixon's for steam and stuff? I don't know if he was gassing it, but uh, it seems to be working pretty good. In field clean and stuff? Yeah. Jay's a very cool and uh, sensible person. He adapts himself very easily either to dirt or road racing. He just takes it as, as it comes. It makes no difference to him, really. And it's fun for Jay to race. Veteran Harley-Davidson racing team manager Dick O'Brien, mentor of national champion number one Jay Springsteen, remembers another Daytona era. Well, on the old beach course, of course, it's a lot different than the day with the closed circuits we have. Uh, usually, you start at daybreak in the morning with the tide coming in close, you know, and line everything up and down the beach. And you had two full miles of sand beach to run on. The pits were all in the deep sand. Usually, by 12 o'clock, the tide would be out far enough to start lining the riders up. A lot of people felt we'd lose a lot by going from the old beach course to the speedway. We haven't. In fact, it's grown 10 times larger than what it was back in those days. 
around the 31 degree high banking speeds on these 250 cc bikes reaching 150 miles an hour springsteen tucks into the drag another thing if the wind does pick up is it gonna mess us up so we're gonna sit on it for a while a lot of concerns for the crews for the riders there is only the track This international field among the best ever at Daytona, the nine-turn, 3.87-mile track that has hosted these races since 59. Camel Pro Series champ Springsteen makes up for road race inexperience with ability, preparation, a good bike, and youthful enthusiasm. So I thought this year that I ought to come back here and see if I can maybe win this thing. This kid from Flint, Michigan, Jay Springsteen, continues the Harley-Davidson tradition, winner of more Daytona races and more AMA Nationals than any other brand in history. Right, I come here. I go enjoy motorcycle racing. I can't describe it. Everybody says the freedom kick and all that other funny stuff, but uh, I just like it. Just, you know. Why do you ride a Harley? I didn't know they made anything else. What kind of bike? <laughs> well, one sport. kind. Harley Davidson. Harley's, what else? See any bike man? Available. Sit. Harley Davidson. Got me from Philadelphia down to here. Don't knock it. That's it. Fine. Love it. And all those Harleys behind it make it great. Clear the streets. Let's clear the streets, ladies and gentlemen. Move back, please. Back to the sidewalks. Let's make way for these thousands of bikes and the world's largest motorcycle parade. Until you've been on a Harley Davidson, you haven't been on a motorcycle. This is Dave Despain once again, ladies and gentlemen, enjoying with you this spectacular five-mile caravan of freedom and fun that captures the spirit of Daytona and the joy of riding a Harley-Davidson. Looks like we're Daytona bound, so let's keep moving. We are thunder rolling to the sun, lightning striking out for fun yeah we're daytona bound in harley davidson's doing it the big ride let's do it every year okay Striking out for fun 